Hello, everybody. Today, I want to tell you about Woodlawn Cemetery in the Bronx. To me, Woodlawn is one of New York City's greatest historic cemeteries, and it's part of a new series that we're doing all about the greatest cemeteries of New York City. Woodlawn was established in 1863, which is during the Civil War, and it actually spans 400 acres of land, which in New York City is huge. And there's 300,000 burials here. Now keep in mind that Cavalry Cemetery in Queens has over 3 million burials, so there's certainly bigger cemeteries in New York, but there's something very special and magical about Woodlawn that I want to talk to you about today. Like many large cemeteries that were established outside of Manhattan, many bodies were actually moved from other cemeteries and relocated to Woodlawn, as other parts of the city grew really rapidly and they needed more space for more land to develop on, including graves from the West Farms Dutch Reformed Church, Harlem Churchyard Cemetery, the Bensonia Cemetery, which was originally a Native American burial ground, and the Dykeman Nagel Burying Ground, just to name a few. Sometimes Woodlawn is called the Jazz Cemetery because it became the final resting place for so many influential jazz artists. The cemetery not only houses graves, but also memorials to these great jazz musicians, including Duke Ellington, Miles Davis, Florence Mills, and so many more. I want you to come with me down a little bit of a rabbit hole around Woodlawn because it's kind of a side note, but it was a little bit of my personal journey here. So Woodlawn, when I visited for the first time, I noticed these a lot of these chair graves, these little stone statues that are shaped like chairs. And I had no idea what that meant. So I spent some time researching it. These are actually mourning chairs, and they were particularly popular in the 19th century. Originally, they were intended to provide permanent seats for mourners who were visiting grave sites, but after they became less popular, they started to develop this haunted reputation. Sometimes referred to as devil's chairs or witch's chairs, these chairs and benches left more modern visitors scratching their heads. Their gothic style led to urban legends, mostly centered around the portals you may open if you sit in them. Some claim to see the devil while seated. There's also specific legends that have popped up around specific chairs. So for example, there's a chair in a cemetery in Saratoga Springs in upstate New York, and it's believed that if you sit in this chair, you'll be transported back in time. I've been inside Woodlawn Cemetery a handful of times, but I pass it way more often on Metro North. And when you're on the train, you really can see that Woodlawn sits on these rolling hills. It's really quite beautiful. And also similar to cemeteries in New York like Greenwood or Maple Grove Cemetery, other cemeteries that I consider to be New York City's great cemeteries, you really have these beautiful historic trees and all of this plant life, and it feels so secluded and peaceful and like a park and an escape from the city around you. As always, thank you so much for coming back and exploring this little piece of history with me. I'm really excited about this series, exploring New York City's great cemeteries, because they are my favorite places to go in New York, and this gives me a great excuse to keep going back. If you're into dark history, I also co-host the Lunatics Radio Hour podcast, which explores the history of horror. You can listen to that anywhere you listen to podcasts. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.